Welcome to all of you who are here in the studio audience and watching at home. We're coming to you from the studios of WHYY in Philadelphia. Now, this hour is all about money, specifically your money. We're going to touch on the economy and on the banking and financial systems and what's happening right now on Wall Street. But we're mostly here in this town hall style meeting to talk about what's happening on your street. Now, for most Americans, investing in the stock market is just something that we have to do in order to build wealth over a lifetime. And now, most Americans just want to know if the worst is over. Well, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to sit down and have a conversation with the one man who's known as the champion of the small investor, Mr. John C. Bogle. First, though, let's quickly run through how this hour is going to unfold. John Bogle is going to give us his explanation of how we wound up in the worst recession since World War II. He'll give us his opinion on whether we can continue to invest with confidence. And then we're going to open it up for your questions. They'll come from the folks right here in the studio audience, along with a few questions my Money Track co host Jack Gallagher recorded earlier this week. Now, for those of you who are not already familiar with our special guest, Here's a glimpse of John Bogle's extraordinary investing career. Over John Bogle's 58-year career in the financial markets, he's been an advocate on the side of ordinary American investors. He founded Vanguard in 1975 and created a whole new type of investment, the index fund, that made it much simpler and less expensive for Americans to buy stocks and bonds. His advice to investors in hard times is... Keep your determination. If you've thought things through and know what you want to do and how you want to do them, don't be shaken by events. Um, keep your character. Thanks for being here, Jack. By the way, John C. Vogel is also known around this town as Jack. And for this interview, it's Jack. <laughs> Now, right. you have written several best-selling books about how to invest. Your latest, though, is titled Enough, True Measures of Money, Business, and Life. What do you mean, enough? Well, the book is premised on a wonderful story, which I really ought to tell you, and that is the story of Kurt Vonnegut, the famous uh, author, and Joe Heller, author of Catch-22, and an even, even more successful author. And they went to the, a party given by a billionaire on Shelter Island and right off uh, Long Island uh -huh. there, uh, kind of lifestyles of the rich and famous kind of place. And uh, they get in there and, and um, Kurt says, Joe, see that man over there, our host? He's a billionaire, he's a hedge fund manager, and he made more money today on this one day than you have made with every copy of Catch-22 that has ever <laughs> been sold. And Joe Heller looks over at Kurt Vonnegut and says, that's okay, because I have something he will never have. Enough. Enough. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's not now, complicated. Now, so, who, who are you talking to, Jack? Are you talking to bank CEOs? Are you talking to politicians, hedge fund managers, the Federal Reserve, or ordinary Americans who are, you know, have just been living beyond their means? Well, we're, we're actually talking to all of the above, Pam, and that is the money section is about the sins of our financial sector in this economy. Uh, too much overreaching, too much greed, uh, too much lack of awareness of risk. Uh, too much financial engineering, making numbers look better than they, mm -hmm. are, they are. And then I go from there, from the financial sector to business itself, where any aspect of professional behavior and professional conduct and the ethics that go with the role of a professional have been reduced greatly, if not abandoned in many cases, in favor of business, business, business. The idea is to make a buck.